Right, so we've got the track set up coming up now. You, better, you have to be quick, you only get a couple of seconds, but basically you have, to con you have to press Control and E when it comes up. So any second now. There we go, Control E. Right, so now I'm in the track controller setup. Whew. Uh, oh, this is interesting. This is a. It's been a while since I've played with a DRAC. So, um. What was that set to? Is that set to dedicated? Because it's only got a single NIC. Oh, no, 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 it's got a separate NIC. That's right, because you've got some systems with shared NICs. Uh, my, my system has got a dedicated NIC. It's got a separate NIC for the DRAC, so you can leave that set to dedicated. Land parameters. Encryption key. Oh, I don't think I'll set that. What I need to do though is set the IP address. <clears throat> so I'm going to use um, a local address on my network here. So 192. And I'm going to stick it on dot 30. Okay. <clears throat> Subnet mask is a little different. It's 255 and default gateway 192.168.0.1. That's right. Oh, we still got, I haven't got, I'm actually running any VLANs here, but we'll see what happens. Oh, that's for alerts, which I'm not going to use. Oh, host name string. Hmm, okay. Uh, I can give it a name. I'm not sure what DBK stands for. It must have been what the last owner set. So I'll just call it that for now. That's if you're using DHCP, I expect. It will send that to the DHCP server. Okay, advanced land premises. What's in there? To negotiate. 100 meg? Should we do gigabit? Hmm. Oh. Maybe the jack can, is only capable of doing 100 meg. Uh, DNS servers are wrong as well. So let's set those to my local router. I'm going to. Get rid of that then. I've only got one one DNS server. Whoops. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just put the same one in again twice. One, one, two. Eight. Well, I'm not going to use DHCP. I'm going to use um, basically I'm going to use a static address. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that. Virtual media. Yep, I'm going to need that. Smart card, I'm not using that. LAN user. Um, hmm, this is interesting because I don't necessarily know the admin user because I seem to remember Drax would use a um, default username of root and the password would be Calvin. Um, now, of course, I bought this off eBay, so I've got no idea how this is set up. Um, <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that. Count privilege. I'm going to change that. Let's set it to what I know. Oh, I'm going to, yeah, and then I'm going to set it to Calvin, C A L V I N. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. I mean, that is what the default is that I'm aware of, unless it's changed. 
Well, what does that do? Reset to default. Okay, no, nope, I don't want to do that. So I could have done that maybe to uh, do everything. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Not interested in that. Just loading up any um, event log entries. Yeah, okay. Right, so let's escape out of that. Save changes and exit. So that should be my drag card configured now. So what I probably need to do now is boot up a PC, a fire up a browser, and see if I can actually get to that drag card. And then I can fire up a remote console and do everything remotely, which would be a lot easier than trying to use the console. So I'll do another video for that.